I'm back. Well, I thought today would work on this bed. If you can hear all kinds of background noises, it's very, very windy today. There's a storm, <laughs> besides the cat I have already. And I have no roof tiles on. So if you hold on two minutes, I will show you. So as you can see, there's my roof tiles uh, all nicely stacked up, or some of them I might add. So yeah, it's gonna be windy and noisy, and maybe even a little wet if we're unlucky. <laughs> All right, so because the roofers aren't here today because of Storm Babette, um, yeah, I'm working in my craft room. It's a bit cold, but we'll get on with it anyway. I've taken these handles and I've sawn off the handle bits, which are... Right, which are these? So they, if you imagine, was attached on there like that. And then the handle went through like that. So I've sawn those bits off. I've had to grind the excess off. And so, yeah, it's all a bit marked now, but it'll be all right. So I've marked there and there, and they are going to live there. So it'll look like that. I think it's rather nice. But of course, then the issue you have is it doesn't look very nice on the other side. Put some paper over it. Sorry. There. Because that doesn't look great, does it, really? And obviously, so that one would go there. I mean, luckily, I had a set of two. Hang on, let's see if I can zoom out a bit. I can storms in the way yeah it'll be a storm all right so it'll be like that and again do the same on the inside maybe although it isn't as bad on the inside but we'll see right i had a change of heart and decided to drill it after all it was less hassle than trying to knock a pin in to be honest so i'm going to stick that on there i'm not going to put any glue on i don't think i don't think i need it well i'm hoping i'm not going to need it if i do then we'll soon find out no doubt so I also have to decide what colour I'm going to paint this bed or stain it or whatever. So I've drawn around it and now I'm just going to cut that out with a craft knife. I had to guess that bit there because I couldn't get my pencil in. I should have done it before, shouldn't I? But never mind, I didn't. Okay, so after a bit of refinement, as you can see, um, Storm's decided to... Oh, where's he going? Did he join us? I've done two, because that works out at about the right thickness, as you can see. So I'm going to glue those two together first to give them a bit of strength, and then glue it onto here. Right, so I've put a good wadge of glue on there. Just glue this on there. I hope I think I've put the glue on the right side. <laughs> uh, right, it seems to fit, so yeah. As you can see, it doesn't quite go to the top of that. I've overcooked it a bit or undercooked it a bit, whichever way you want to look at it, but it's close enough for me because I am going to cover this as well. So at least it's the right thickness. Ends of the screws, I shall grind them off with my Dremel so you won't see them. Right, so as you can see, I've ground the ends of those screws off, so now they're completely, well, I wouldn't say completely flat, but they're completely um, sharp, not sharp and won't hurt anybody. Well, the parcels just come from my lovely friend. I purchased two doll's heads off her and I got a lovely card, which is gorgeous. And uh, I'll show you the doll's head. It's one of them I bought. 
So we do that with her hair, look. How beautiful is she? She's absolutely gorgeous, isn't she? I love it. So, yeah. <laughs> Even love the ribbon. Thank you. But the in it is a couple of other things, so let's see what they are. I've got some more things to show you of this lady, actually, that uh, she came up to visit me all the way from down south because um, she has another friend that lives up here and she got me some gorgeous stuff and I will show you that. Oh, look at these. Look at that. Oh, wow. Does it open? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. There's a tiny little sewing box. Oh, wow. That is so cute. <laughs> I'm very appropriate because she knows I love sewing. Wow, I love it. That's gorgeous. But just look. Oh. And I think here we've got a a bowl of fruit. How lovely. Mmm. And they actually do look good enough to eat as well. Wow. And, <laughs> and ooh, a lovely goblet. Oh, that's a grand goblet, isn't it? Lovely. Oh, thank you. And a little serviette. Oh, lovely. Oh, they, they are just so cute. I love those. Thank you. And great tissue paper. <laughs> and these little shoes belonged to the doll. Unfortunately, their bodies were absolutely unsavable. So I've now got to find them new bodies, but there's the shoes. So she's not a bad sized doll with those shoes, I wouldn't have thought. And she also asked me if I wanted this. <coughs> she showed me a picture of it and I went, oh yes, please. Cause I'm sure we can do something with that. Definitely. Yeah. So thank you. While I'm here, I might as well show you the other bits because I've got them to hand. So I'm pretty sure she decorated this box herself. Isn't that lovely? I love it. It's so vintage looking. Well, I think it is a vintage box. Gorgeous. And she sent me some braids, bits of trim. See that one there? Perfect for a sofa or brigadier's house or something like that. And then these ones, she definitely sent me because she thought they were perfect for the brigadier's house, which is ribbons from the Second World War. As in they would have used them to make bows and decorate for the celebrations when it came to an end. That's what we think they are now, that either what was left over or maybe they were used, I don't know, but they are going into the Brigadier's house. So I have a plan for those already. I just need five minutes to get it done. There's a nice little wooden bowl and some little plinths. I mean, that would actually sit on there quite nicely. Another beautiful goblet, all in turned wood. And another goblet and more stands. And then, the most beautiful piece of lace, which is going to be, isn't that gorgeous? See if I can open it out a little bit and show you. It's beautiful. Hang on. So fine. So I think I'm going to use that, possibly for curtains, for my new house. Um, the one with the big windows, because I think that'd be beautiful. Or it could get end up with some bed throws, or both. But thank you so much. You're a very generous, lovely lady. It was also a gorgeous, a gorgeous little um, bamboo type chair, which I will show you next time I'm in my new house, because it's in there. Right, so here's the other head. It's a nice big one. See if I can just move those back a bit. And the best thing about this doll is, if you hang on a minute, she has the biggest brown eyes I've ever seen. Absolutely gorgeous. She's my first brown eyed doll. I absolutely think that is just so lovely. And she's by Armand Messier. And 
That is the actual date, 1894. From what I've seen in my German book, I'll have to have another look, but I'm pretty sure that's actually the date on these ones. So, isn't that gorgeous? Wow. A little bit of rubbing on her nose there, but I don't mind that. I'm happy. She's gorgeous in such lovely condition. A shame her body was unsavable, but I suppose that's the way it goes. So yeah, I'm looking forward to doing her. Right, so I've decided to go down the tissue route and I've still got some of these left and I do actually need to finish that up at Follybeck Farm. But anyway, that's another day. <laughs> so yeah. Get me brush. <laughs> brush it down because of course like I said it would have been better had I taken that plate off but you know I didn't I didn't do it first like I should have done in the right order but it'll be all right I was wondering why that was going yellow then I was thinking grish <laughs> but of course <laughs> It's the brass. <laughs> I'll just take the bulk of it off and then tidy it up after. I shall let it dry this time before I start faffing on with it. Right, so I've touched it up. As you can see, it's coming over the metal. Hang on, let's get you in focus. And I've just added one of the flowers over the top because I think it just needed something there. The pattern was a bit too nothing, if you know what I mean. So, so I've now got to let that dry and then I'll trim those bits off. I also did the back. So that's what that looks like. Got a bit of a tear going on there, but we'll sort that out. Oh, I've just noticed it's that way. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Didn't notice that. Silly me. Oh well. But anyway, it looks alright. So um, then I'm going to have to fill in the, the top edge there. Which is just the same thing I'm going to do. Just put some glue on and some paper. Right, so here's where we're at at the moment. Uh, I've got to tidy this up. I've put it on the edge like that. And I'm also going to put some on this brass bit here. And just, I mean, I'm doing this before it's all dry. I'm just, uh, as usual, sort of on time. You just get your sandpaper once it's dry and just go like that along the edge. And that takes it off to a nice neat edge. So that's what I've been doing. Yeah, we'll have to end it there, I think. Right, so there it is. Uh, still a good bit more to do on it. There's the side bits and there's the back. There's almost a part of me that wish I'd done it all like that. I actually quite like that, even though it is <laughs> the third one key. But I like this style of it. it, looks quite French. But anyway, we've done what we've done, so we'll carry on with that. Okay, well, I've had a change of heart about this bed. Um, I think I'm going to paint the brass to match the wood. So yeah, I think that's what we'll do. As you can see, it has got a bit of a wobble on. And I don't know why, but I'll have to sort that too. But yeah, it's another day. The roofers are here, the rain stopped. So uh, I'm back in the living room. <laughs> right, the more I get into this project, the more I dislike it. <laughs> so I'm now thinking, I was thinking of painting this. And like I say, there's a lot of tooling marks on that brass, which is fine, you know, but I'm not loving it. So I think I'm going to use some more of this and cover that. Maybe just leave the centre there in brass. I'm sort of thinking more like a French sort of style. Right, so I'm going to put some more glue on this here. Sorry, I've got a long handle brush. It's going to catch a bit. Okay, I'm feeling so much happier with that now. 
Um, I just put the tissue on exactly the same method as before. Um, and yeah, I, I think that's starting to look more coherent now. So next I'm thinking about this. So as you can see, it's just reclaimed. It's not particularly old, this, but it's going to go on there. So I need to get something to do some mitres. Right, if I show that there, you can see that's not right. That's it's a right angle and that's wrong. And I don't know why. <laughs> hmm, interesting. I don't think I can afford to cut any more off that. Because if I do, I think it'll be totally wrong. Oh, I might be able to. Right, I'll give it one last shot. Side profile, it will look much better than just the plain bits. Right, that's got it now. Okay, last bit now. For this video, sorry, it was just the cat, no, the meal, the cat that's nudging me, Stara. Um, yeah, okay, Stara Para. Whoa, I've just got super glue on my hand. Oh no, so my husband did cut these for me in the end. I, I'm not gonna lie to you, I just couldn't work out the angles, not because it's mitered corners, but it's the shape of the wood as well underneath. Make sure that's all right. Yep, so that's perfect. Yeah. So what I plan to do is I maybe cover this with a piece of card, just this bit here. Um, but yeah. So if you hang on, I'll get you a look at it front on. Right, there you go. So I think you can see that makes a much nicer profile. And I'm now really happy um, with the front and back board. I think that just looks so much more. It's going to be sort of French, I think, Frenchish looking. But yeah, so you've got to stain it down and make some covers. And that will be for another time. So anyway, there'll be a video at midweek again. So, ta for now. I'll see you then.